everyone, I'm Erin, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the top seven highlights from our latest release of FME, the data integration platform with the best support for spatial data. FME 2020.2 delivers usability enhancements and introduces support for a set of systems that reveal some exciting new capabilities that are coming next year in 2021. Number one, FME server automations now provides failure output ports on each trigger. This allows you to determine how your automation workflow will run if a trigger fails so that action can be taken automatically. Number two, FME AR comes with some handy improvements, like a compass so you can see where you're navigating. Number three, FME Data Express provides a new satellite view map to make it easier to find what you need. Number four, the GML writer now gives you the ability to use XML appender mode, giving you increased flexibility and control when writing more complex schemas. Number five, this summer we released the ArcGIS Online Connector in the FME Hub and we immediately received requests to add ArcGIS portal support. You asked, we answered. Number six, if you use Shopify to build your e-commerce website, you can now use FME to manage backend data and connect systems automatically. Number seven, here's the sneak peek I promised. FME 2021 will make it even easier to integrate IoT and streaming data. We're setting the groundwork for a better user experience supporting event stream processing. This will enable you to integrate streaming data using event streams for continuous real-time data processing and provides an alternative to bulk or batch workflows. Real-time stream processing is ideal for streams of any volume, from low or sporadic to dedicated high volume where low latency is a requirement. This is because it enables streaming data to be processed before it's stored. With this approach, you can summarize data by timestamps and ensure that unneeded detail can be filtered out immediately before it's used or written out to a data warehouse or BI platform. As part of this effort, we've released support for Kafka, SQS, Google Cloud PubSub, and most recently, the MQTT protocol with a set of cloud IoT services. Get FME 2020.2 from our downloads page and discover more highlights on our new features page. Thanks for watching.